This is Winning Cures Everything. Here's your host, Gary Seegers. Welcome in. This is Winning Cures Everything. I am your host, Gary Seegers. You can follow me on Twitter at GaryWCE. You can follow the show at Winning Cures or on Facebook, facebook.com slash Winning Cures Everything. We have been away for a couple of days, but we have returned. Last night went 4-1 and one against the number in college basketball. We got more picks for you this afternoon. I've got a couple of things that I want to talk about before that. Today is Friday, March the 1st. As always... The show is brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They have got six incredible sports books. You can find more information on them at tunicatravel.com. We, myself and Chris, will be at Sam's Town Casino in Tunica, March 21st, March 22nd. We are broadcasting live at 10 a.m. We will be live on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Make sure you come out, hang out with us, have fun. We are going to be spending the evening, we're, we're spending the night at Samstown that Thursday night. We're going to watch the first two days of the NCAA tournament, all 32 games. We're going to have a blast. We want you to come out, have fun with us. It's going to be a good time. March 21st, March 22nd, there is a Facebook link in the YouTube description down below or just over on the Facebook page. Come on, RSVP. Tell us you're going to be there. We would love to see you out. Today's topics, the Big 12 and the Pac-12 uh Almost set up a scheduling alliance, and we're going to talk about what that uh, entailed, etc. It, it's some pretty crazy stuff. Uh, huge ass beers versus giant ass beers. We will debate. We will discuss. New Orleans is such a wonderful place. Also, ESPN is launching a daily sports betting news and information show. We'll tell you what it's called, when it starts, etc., etc., uh, and tell you why they're doing it. And then I've got you some college basketball picks. So let's go on and fire into it. The Big 12 and Pac-12 Scheduling Alliance. Now, this was brought up while they were discussing the Big 12 expansion stuff, right? And the biggest thing was they proposed it to the Pac-12. Nothing was ever done. This was before the 2017 season. Uh, Each league's three non-conference games would be versus each other. Now, that would still cause a problem because the Pac-12 has 12 teams, the Big Ten or Big Twelve only has ten teams. You see where the math doesn't exactly add up, right? So the initial proposal was they would have an interleague championship. At that point, the playoff had been in for three years. The Pac twelve had not made a playoff appearance yet. The Big Twelve had only made one. They decided they were the two outsiders trying to get in. They wanted to make sure that they were always going to have a team in. So, the Big 12 thought, well, we can align with the Pac-12, and that way either our team or the other team will always have a way to get in. Uh, The initial proposal was the Interleague Championship. Then it turned into a four-team playoff for the Interleague Championship, which would then feed into the college football playoff, which is a four-team playoff. Uh, The Big 12's expansion study, Kansas State's president, John Weefield, Uh, His first inclination was to lure Arizona and Arizona State to the Big 12. I think that would be a perfect fit if they could get them away from the Pac-12. And with the way that the – and I don't know how this isn't bigger news right now, but that is something that could still happen. The media rights for both of these leagues expire in 2025. If the Pac-12 cannot do anything about their current financial situation – why wouldn't Arizona and Arizona State be interested in joining the Big 12 and possibly making it a more lucrative option for television networks or for Facebook, Apple, you know, whatever it is, Netflix, Amazon, whoever? Why would that not be a better option for Arizona or Arizona State? Because right now they're having to pay for all of these media rights, et cetera, et cetera, that, uh, that Larry Scott has gotten them into, the, the Pac-12 commissioner. So, the idea of the Big 12 to lure Arizona and Arizona State, a couple of years ago, it might not have made a lot of sense because the Big 12 didn't seem like the more stable option. Now, it looks like the Pac-12 or the Big 12 might have a better chance of being more stable than the Pac-12. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but that seems like it's a pretty big deal, 
And conference expansion, of course, will be massive going forward. There's, there's going to be big stuff pop up over the next few years as media rights expire. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, next topic up, huge ass beers versus giant ass beers down in New Orleans. So I've got the, uh, the article pulled up. Here's the deal. Huge Ass Beers is a trademarked, really big draft beer that you can buy on Bourbon Street. If you've been to Bourbon Street, you see them everywhere. There's people holding up signs, Huge Ass Beers. Everybody takes pictures with them, etc. That is trademarked by uh, Nicholas S. Carno Number 1, Inc., and that is a company run by Billy Carno. Uh, he is the operator and landlord for several businesses along Bourbon Street. The three places you can get big ass beer, or sorry, huge ass beers, is the Steak Pit, Prohibition, and Cornet. Now, those are all owned by him. The businesses where you can get a thing called the Giant Ass Beer is at Beer Fest, Voodoo Vibe, and Sing Sing, and the Strip Club Stilettos. Now, the deal is uh, those are run by the Alanos, I believe. It's Pamela Alano and Guy Alano Jr. In the suit, Huge Ass Beers creator alleges trademark infringement, and basically what it is is the Alanos, who run those four places, uh, they are irritated at the landlord, who is Billy Carno, who runs the other three places, and decided that they wanted to do their own thing to get back at him. And so there's been a restraining order put on it, uh, it's going to trial. It is, I mean, it, this lawsuit is bonkers. Uh, but it's it's all within a few blocks of each other on the most raucous stretch of Bourbon Street from the 300 block to the 700 block. And it is bananas. I mean, it, these lawsuits are crazy. Uh, the two parties are also involved in a separate lawsuit in civil district court in which the Alanos accuse their landlord of unfair business practices. So basically, they are trying to get back at Billy Carno because they think that he has unfair business practice. Basically, he might be charging them too much rent or he's not giving them uh, time to pay rent in a timely manner, whatever it is. All sorts of different stuff going on here. But Bourbon Street uh, has officially given us the huge ass beers versus giant ass beers battle. And I can't wait to see what comes out of this. Uh, the next topic, ESPN is launching the Daily Sports Betting News and Information Show. They're going to call it Daily Wager. Now, it is uh, hosted by Doug Calzerian, right? And he, he does all of the, uh, he does the Behind the Bets podcast. Uh, these are the contributors that are going to be on. Stanford Steve will be on. Chris Felica is going to be on. David Purdom, who does the ESPN.com Gambling Insider uh, or industry reporter, uh, Anita Marks, who's an ESPN Radio New York host, uh, Preston Johnson, Las Vegas-based handicapper. Uh, he's known as the Sports Cheetah. Joe Fortenbaugh, co-founder of NationalFootballPost.com. There's going to be additional people as well. This is 100% a reaction to FS1 success with their daily show called Lock It In. Clay Travis, Cousin Sal, Todd Furman, Rachel Bonetta, they ran this entire football season. They have continued running. Their daily viewership numbers have tripled since the beginning of the show. And ESPN needed to do something along these lines. They did have a show with uh, uh, Dan from The Solid Verbal and Jeff Schwartz that they ran on ESPN+. Plus. It was fairly successful, but on ESPN+, Plus, that's kind of... I'll tell you what I use ESPN Plus for. I'm a degenerate college basketball gambler. I go to ESPN Plus to find the games that I can't find anywhere else. That's it. Like, I, I bet the numbers that my my numbers, my analytics tell me I need to bet, and then I go find the game, and it's generally on ESPN Plus. So I'm paying the 5 bucks a month to get that and to get the ESPN Insider stuff to read and whatnot, but that's where you're going to put that. If you want to put on a daily show, it's got to be entertaining. It can't just be news and information like I believe they're trying to do. The lock it in stuff is fun because the guy, the hosts and whatnot get after each other. It's entertaining. They actually make it somewhat of a game show so that you see what they are like what they're putting up, how to handle a bankroll every week. 
I'm curious what they are going to do with this ESPN show. It begins on March 11th. So we'll see. It's just in time for March Madness. The NCAA tournament, of course, starts March 21st. We'll see what happens with that. Um, let's go ahead and do some college basketball picks. I went 4-1 and one last night, first winning night since last Thursday. I'm. We got to get off the slide. We got off last night. We're up around 54% still. We're 161, 139, and 5 on the season. That is 53.67% against the number. Uh, I have got five lines against the spread tonight. So let's jump in. I've got Brown minus four and a half versus Columbia. I have got Quinnipiac minus one at St. Peter's. I've got Miami, Ohio plus nine at home versus Buffalo. I've got North Alabama plus 13 versus Lipscomb and Iona plus six at Ryder tonight. So, you can always find the picks at winningcureseverything.com. You go up to the navigation bar, you click on gambling picks, they're all right there, along with these wonderful videos of me talking about these college basketball picks. Uh, or you can just type in winningcureseverything.com slash gambling dash picks, or you can find it in the description of this video. All you got to do is click the link, it'll pop right up. There you go. So, as always, you can follow the show at Winning Cures on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Winning Cures Everything. Hit subscribe for us. Share the show out. Subscribe to the podcast. Subscribe to uh, the YouTube. Leave some comments. Share the show out. Tell all your buddies about it. We are looking forward to a big Saturday in college basketball. Uh, we're, we're getting closer and closer to March Madness. It is officially March. We're pumped about that. Uh, but, yeah, we hope you have fun. Check out the Gambling Picks site tomorrow for all of our picks. We will see you guys next week. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.